In this modern era, most of us tend to take things for granted, yet there was a time when it was very different. Older homes had many innovations that made life easier. Today these features are no longer necessary, but they are interesting to learn about. Let's take a walk through time and see some of these together. If you have ever seen these on the outside of a home, then you may have thought they were just decorations, but they do in fact have a purpose. They are called wall plates and are made from cast or wrought iron. These plates are evenly distributed throughout the outside of a home and are connected to rods that run through the walls. They were used to help stabilize walls and help prevent them from bowing outward and collapsing. Modern construction practices and technologies have made them obsolete. Have you ever seen a door in a weird spot in the back of a house? Perhaps it led into the pantry or a little room that may have had another door leading into the house that also locked. This was called an ice door. It was an access door the ice delivery man used when he delivered fresh ice. Back then, there weren't any refrigerators, only ice boxes which relied on ice to keep things cool. You may have heard some in your family call refrigerators ice boxes, and that's all because of the history of using ice in ice boxes. Landline telephones used to be an essential form of communication. However, these phones were not always small. Homes used to have little phone nooks or shelves that were built into the wall and phones were placed inside them. Today you might see people display an antique phone in there, but most of the time it's just used as a place to store mail or a plant. If you live in an older home, then you probably have a lot of these all over the place. Maybe they're in the kitchen, living room, and bedrooms. These landline phone jacks are certainly an item of the past thanks to the cell phone. Depending on where you live, you may have seen these tiny iron doors. They lead to the basement and were used by the coal delivery man who went door to door delivering the necessary item so that people could heat their home. He would shovel the coal into the door and it would run down a chute into the basement. The homeowners would then shovel the coal into the furnace. Natural gas and electric heaters have made these a thing of the past. If you live in an older home that is multi-story, then you may have had a laundry chute. These were brilliant and you didn't have to worry about taking your clothes downstairs to the laundry room. Just throw it into the chute and it would slide down there for you. Why these became a thing of the past, I do not know. I really think they should come back. Some modern homeowners and new homes are having these created after they move in. If you were ever in a home that was built prior to World War II, then it is possible you've seen a random toilet in the basement. What is really strange about these is that there are no walls around them, or at least historically there wasn't. They may or may not have had a sink or shower there, but these were called Pittsburgh potties. The purpose of them was to allow the steel workers and miners a place to clean up following a long day at work. They would enter the basement and clean up before entering the home to avoid tracking in grime. The name Pittsburgh Potty might lead you to believe that these were only in Pittsburgh. However, they can be found in many different cities. If you happen to come across these today, they are probably not being used. At least I hope not. This is how electrical wiring was done between 1880 and 1930. The single insulated copper conductors ran within the wall or ceiling cavities. They passed through a joist or stud drill holes with porcelain insulated tubes. For support along the way, porcelain knobs were nailed down. If you look at it now, it just looks like a fire hazard. Have you ever seen a bed come from the ceiling? There are a few of these coming back in tiny loft apartments that are brand new, but for the most part, they are a thing of the past. Originally, they were a competitor to the Murphy bed, which would fold up into a closet or a wall to save floor space. These ceiling beds, or soilian beds as they were called, were supposed to free up the wall or closet space. They were patented in 1913, and it was lowered by a crank with hidden weights in the wall, which worked to counterbalance the bed. Once it was down, some folding legs could be extended so the bed was properly grounded. Push-button light switches may seem sort of fun or luxurious, but they certainly had their problems. The biggest one was the buttons getting stuck in either the on or off position. 
These switches were around in the late 1800s and were used in the early 1900s. You may have seen these strange cast iron things near the front door of someone's house and wondered what they were. These are boot scrapers. They were more common in times where there were no paved roads and you may have trotted through some mud or horse paddies. People certainly didn't want that in their homes so you would scrape it off and leave it on their porch. Changes in roads and transportation made these less popular. Root cellars at one time were a necessary thing to have. People needed a place to store their vegetables, fruits, and other perishables for longer periods of time. Some of these were built into the ground outside of the home while others were just simply basements. Modern refrigerators have rendered these unnecessary. I'm sure many people have seen these if you've ever lived in an old home that had a medicine cabinet on the wall in the bathroom. These tiny slots were there so you could dispose of your old razor blades after shaving. Some of these old houses have tons of razor blades under the house or stuck inside the wall. Dumb waiters are certainly not something that everyone had. First off, you would need a home that was older and had different levels. The purpose of them was to move dishes and food back and forth between the kitchen and the dining room, which would be on different levels. I'm sure many kids climbed up into these for a little elevator fun. If you ever take a tour of a historic home or live in one, then you may have seen a tiny set of stairs coming off of the kitchen or pantry. These were used by servants so that they could stay out of sight. Nowadays, servant stairs are probably only installed on cruise ships. Something else you may notice in these historic homes are servant floor buttons. They were placed in the dining room in the middle of the floor. When pressed, it would summon the butler. Most of the time, these are covered up by a rug or a table. Have you ever noticed these and wondered what they were? Some may know, but most people watching have probably never had milk delivered. These were called milk doors and the milkmen would deliver fresh milk through them as well as pick up the empty bottles. If you look at an older home, you'll often see these panels of glass. They are found above doors and are called transom windows. Before the days of electricity, they would allow in natural light to illuminate the hallway or interior rooms. Some of these windows open to allow circulation of air. Electricity has made these unnecessary, but some people are electing to have these placed in new homes. Natural light is always a good thing. Picture rails or molding became common in the mid-1800s. The purpose of the rails was to allow the homeowner a way of hanging a picture without damaging the plaster walls. A movable hook could be placed anywhere along the rail and a picture would just simply hang below. By the 1940s, this trend became outdated and people weren't afraid to hammer into the walls. Intercoms can still be found in many homes and apartments from around the 1970s era. Some of these intercoms may have been used between rooms and different levels of a home. It was also common to have one on the outside to see who may be at the door or the gate. Nowadays, people just use their cell phones and smart doorbells. Have you ever wondered why older homes have oddly shaped rooms or many different rooms? There was a purpose to not having an open concept of modern homes. It may seem strange now, but it added privacy if guests came over. More importantly, closed doors between rooms help to heat and cool smaller and more often used areas of the house without wasting energy in places you weren't using. Pocket doors were a great way to have a more open floor plan, yet have a way of closing off an area when it wasn't used. This is one feature that needs to be brought back and made more common in newer homes. Even though some of these old house features are dated, a few of them can still serve a purpose in modern times. I hope you enjoyed this little walk through home features of the past. Let us know if there are any others worth mentioning. Thanks for watching.